Hi, this is Lisa from America's Test Kitchen Gearheads, and I'm here to answer some of your really good questions on outdoor entertaining gadgets. Okay, our first question is, how do we find a commercial composting facility or access it? You know, every town is different. Um, where I live, they actually, thank goodness, pick it up at the curb with the garbage and, you know, take it to composting facility. Other places, you have to hire a private company to come pick it up. Um, just, you know, go online, look at your city or town and see what they have. And, you know, if you ask them, sometimes people have to advocate for what they want. And if enough people ask, they will do it. So, you know, more power, go for it. And that question was in response to us saying that some of the compostable plates and cutlery were only compostable in a commercial composting facility. Um, yeah, when you call and you ask for those things, you know, specifically mention those products because it's different from, you know, composting peels and skins of fruit. It is a separate process and some of them can handle it and some can't. Um, but again, you know, when you call and you ask the questions and you're, you know, we always say if you have a problem with a product, call the customer service for that company. Unless they have a log of issues and problems that people are coming up with, they don't think there's a problem. Same with cities. They don't know that you want that unless you call and you say, I'd like this. And if enough people do it and you vote with your feet and your phone and everything, you're going to, you know, make a difference and they may add that to what they're doing. So good luck. Someone asked, should we be expecting a portable gas gear, grill gearheads video um, we showed you the winner already so yeah no probably not but you know honestly um, you know the whole review with all the details is on our website America's test and uh, you know I was out there back there grilling stuff for days and there's lots of details that we couldn't get into in this video but you know you have the winner um, it's great. There are some other options that are pretty good. You can read the full review on our website. Someone else asked about electric grills. Are we going to review them? Right now they're not in our plans, but you know, we never rule anything out and probably eventually we will get to electric grills. There's so many things in the kitchen, as you know, that we have to review. Another great question, could a Yeti cooler be a good backup for a fridge or freezer in power outages? Yes, yeah, it's a great extra use for them. We put all kinds of food in there and put in the ice and everything stayed cold for days and days. We were really impressed by how nicely it kept everything. Um, it's not your grandfather's cooler. This thing really works. We've done that. You know, sometimes you know there's a planned power outage. I don't know about you, but our power company's like, you know, here in July or whatever, we're gonna shut your power off. And you're like, oh great, I just went shopping. So yeah, putting some, you know, you could put the ice in there and put your stuff in there and then let them do what they're going to do um, and in emergencies same deal just grab all your ice throw your stuff in there and it's going to probably stay safe for a day or two at least and maybe even longer so yeah great idea good tip thank you for sharing that okay so that's it for this time uh, we'll see you next time on gearheads